What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Mizuno Wave Momentum Men's Volleyball Shoe. If you want to order your own volleyball shoes, then make sure that you check out the official volleyball shoe headquarters at allvolleyball.com. They have many of the popular shoes in stock at their warehouse, which means the orders are shipped out the very next day. They also have a fit tip to help you decide the correct shoe size and all orders over $75 include free shipping. Don't forget to use my discount code to get 5% off your entire purchase, whether you're buying volleyball shoes, balls, jerseys, bags, or training equipment. I was excited to try this shoe because I have not worn Mizuno shoes since college. I probably wore the Wave Lightning series, and this is what I remember. They were good for athletes with wide feet like mine, very lightweight, fairly stiff, had a very thin sole, which was great for playing defense, but not good for jumping and landing shock absorption. In general, I wasn't very fond of them, so I stopped wearing Mizunos. After many of you have suggested to try the Mizuno Wave Momentum shoe, I figured I would give Mizuno's one more shot. Now let's see what this shoe looks like straight out of the box. The look is pretty wild, especially considering how Mizuno has pretty much kept the same look forever. But I must say that I do like this outer space futuristic design because it's just so vibrant and energetic. The Wave Momentum fits true to size and is great for wide feet. Not only did it accommodate my wide feet comfortably, they actually felt secure without feeling restrictive. There's a million different types of textures and weaving materials, but the main ones are a stretchy nylon, rubber, and foam, and not too much plastic. I actually really like how it fits because it feels like a thick sock wrapping around my feet and ankle, which is great because the shoe conforms to your foot movement because the material is flexible and fitted. I can always feel the shoe in multiple places so my foot doesn't feel like it's shifting or floating around inside the shoe. The only downside of the sock-like design is that it takes a little extra effort to take the shoe on and off since it is like a sock. The shoe required minimal break-in and felt comfortable right out of the box. The front and mid part of the upper is just as flexible as the rest of the shoe, which is really great for jumping and sprinting. There's plenty of shock absorption from the sole design without being too soft and foamy like the Adidas Boost which is often too soft in my opinion. The traction pattern is pretty standard and provides a medium level of stickiness, meaning it really sticks on sport court, but if a hardwood floor is too dusty, the shoe will start to slip a little bit. The ankle support is fantastic. There is plenty of ankle mobility, which is ideal for changing direction quickly. When I try to push off hard laterally, the shoe is very responsive and my foot and ankle never felt unstable at any point. The midsole is stiff enough to allow a nice heel toe roll when jumping, but not too stiff where it interrupts the flow of movement. The wave momentum does allow you to be naturally springy and fast, but doesn't give you extra bounce like the Kobe 6s or Dame 6s. You essentially get a standard energy return, which is just fine. I'm not a fan of the bubble inside the sole, which I'm not sure what those are called. So if you know what those are called, let me know in the comments section so I can actually learn the term. I'm assuming those bubbles are there to provide extra bounce and higher energy return, but they don't feel like they're placed in the right areas, so they end up being an annoying feeling at times. The Mizuno Wave Momentum feels very similar to the Nike Hyper Ace, but an upgraded version of it. I'm still very happy with the Hyper Ace and have no problem playing volleyball in this shoe, but the Wave Momentum is lighter, 
slightly more comfortable, and a more flexible version of the Hyper Ace. The Wave Momentum is around $140 to $150, which is definitely on the higher end of the price range, but I can see why because of the complex stitching patterns and how they've integrated all the overlapping materials to create a fit that is very unique. It's definitely a much better experience than my last Mizuno shoe in college, which was around $70 to $80. Overall, I had a great experience with the Mizuno Wave Momentum shoe. It's very lightweight, flexible, supportive, comfortable, responsive, and the look is just crazy. If they just placed the insole bubbles in better positions and added gum to the outsole so it could have better traction on dustier floors, then this shoe would have been amazing. I'm going to keep wearing this shoe for my volleyball training for now because I love the fitted, comfortable, and locked in feel. Also, it's just hard to find comfortable shoes that accommodate wide feet specifically for athletic training. Now, if you prefer to have more room for your foot to move around, a thicker and bouncier sole, and very sticky traction, then this shoe may not be for you especially if you prefer a bigger basketball shoe type feel. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section what shoe I should try next. If you enjoy these product review videos, then please share them with your volleyball friends and teammates. And consider donating to my Patreon link in the description box below, or becoming a member of the Elevate Yourself community so I can keep making better videos for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.